High yield soybean management, we do need to look at the systems approach. And what I mean by that is to be intentional. It's not just the crop that get rotated after corn or something else. We need to be intentional with that. So that's a firm foundation with the fields. So whether you're tillage or no-till, uh, the fertility that comes in play, we're not going to just get scraps like a lot of people have done in years past. They need to be fertilized for those soybeans to get the yield levels that they want. Sulfur in particular, as we come into this, uh, we've got less deposition. Sulfur's been popping the last few years, really key in terms of our nodule development, and then as well as our nitrogen supply. Uh, it goes in part and parcel with the early development, so that leaf biomass to the end of the season when we really want to finish filling out those pods and those seeds. So one of the other big parts of looking at high yield management of soybeans is being timely with this planting. It doesn't necessarily have to be the early window, but it certainly better not be whenever the other crop gets planted. We need to be timely with the plant. When field conditions are fit, soils are warming up, planters need to roll. And what we're doing with this is soybean responds to heat units as well as photo period. Most people have the appreciation that they respond to photo period in the way they grow vegetatively, switching into flower and reproduction. But our timely planting, what that's bringing to the table is we're gonna have this opportunity to accumulate heat units, thermal energy. And when we accumulate more thermal energy before photo period pushes us into flowering, we have more nodes that are being produced, so where the trifoliate nodes are placed. Those are gonna be where our money makers of pods and seeds are gonna be developing. So we have more opportunities for node development, more leaves. We have the opportunity for more pods, which goes down to that cascading effect on the amount of seeds that we have and how big they're gonna be when we finish filling out the season. When we look at soybeans, we wanna make sure that we get a good stand established. And what I mean by that is, yeah, certainly we need plants out there to make yield at the end of the season, but we wanna make sure that they're coming up fairly uniform. They don't have to be within six hours of each other, but we wanna have a good uniform stand. The idea that we have root development that's gonna be throughout the profile. And what we're doing with this stand root establishment is providing an opportunity for water access later in the season. Uh, upfront season is, okay, how are those nodules developing? Again, Nitrogen is a critical part of soybeans. We certainly have to do our management to get the stand established with roots that are developing and providing an opportunity for nodule development and nitrogen supply. The thing with looking at soybeans is not just to plant them, got the fertility down and get a stand established. You said, okay, I've got 100, 120,000 plants out there per acre, I'm good. No, we need to continue going back out there, look what's going on, use the plant as your, your guide. Use it as, okay, tell me what's going on. And one of the ways we can do that, we can take leaf samples, do it multiple times over the season to look at nutritional needs. As we're taking leaf samples, we can be monitoring, okay, are weeds starting to break out? Do we have the insects popping? Do we have any disease popping? And then how can we manage that? So then we're in tune with what's approaching and then how can we manage it in a proactive manner rather than reactive. So as we think about this, you've set the foundation, you've had timely planting, you're scouting that field. Let's go with, okay, we're looking at August or September, or end of the season, make sure that we're, there's nothing else we need to do. There's no insects coming in. Uh, if you're, again, if you're an irrigator, if you, you're irrigating, make sure that we continue to irrigate until we have leaf drop. And then as we're preparing for harvest, we've got to be timely with harvest. We start with timely planting, we've got to be timely with harvest. A lot of times when we go out to these soybean fields, they're drying down well below 13%, and we're losing yield just on straight water weight. And then also whenever we're harvesting those soybeans that are below 13%, a lot of times those pods are shattering. We're losing all those money makers that you put the time and effort into to build. Let's make sure we're harvesting timely, getting the combine set and rolling, even if there's green stems on those plants. It's about when the seeds are mature and brown and dry, 14%. Don't be afraid to run at 14, 15%. So then we're catching all the seeds that we can rather than them getting shattered or just losing out on water weight.